Right. I decided that um, the battle against Champion and Yova was a bit sort of, you know, crap, so... Success story battle, yay. Right, this is against Hack Glitch. I'm going to lead up with Colin the Clay Doll, and I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks as he sets up itself. Now, his Heatran is a Torment Tran. And as I'm sure a good portion of you know, Torment Trans deserve to die and rot in hell. But, um, I let him set up a sub, so I'm kind of in a rut at the moment. So, I'm just going to go for an Earth Power, make sure to break the sub. He is going to torment me, and, um, I can't do anything, because the only other two moves I have are Ice Beam and Explosion, and I don't really want to explode right off the bat. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Don't know, don't know what happened there. Alright, so I'm gonna send in Danny, and he's gonna lava bloom, and he's gonna get a crit, and he's going out like, no Danny, don't do this Danny, and he takes it, and I roar him out. So, well done Danny. It, it, yeah, and in comes the Raikou, and it's like, well fuck, that's kind of annoying. I don't think Danny could have taken anything without the crit, but... Uh, I would have quite liked Danny to have done better there. However, um, my Empoleon also has Raw, so I don't know why I didn't go into that, but I didn't. And it's probably a good thing I didn't, actually. Oh well. I bring in Connor again, figuring I could take a Shadow Will, because I have a decent amount of bulk. And I do, because Connor is a trooper. And I'm going to half power, I'm going to kill this damn Raikou. So, yeah, get out of there, Raikou. Because, I, yeah, I, I figured Connor could tank one. And in comes an ape, and there isn't much point sacking Connor, because I haven't seen Stealth Rocks yet. And I have my own ape to tank whatever this ape feels like aping me with. I don't know. And in comes Celebi, the biggest satanic piece of shit in the world, and I hate this goddamn thing. But I need to do something to get rid of it. So I'm going to go into Andy, and I reckon I can Ice Beam it and fire blast it. I mean, I have things to do, but it outspeeds me and it has leech seed. That's about the sum total of my problems there. Grass Knot does nothing, and Substitute just prolongs the annoy or the annoyance, really. But I go Ice Beam, just to break the sub, and then I make a really, 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 really stupid play, and I go Fire Blast, even though the switch into Heatran was probably the most obvious thing in the world, but hey, I did it anyway, oh well. So now Andy is just a sitting duck here, because I'm seated up, um, and the only move I have that can hit this thing remotely well is Dragon Pulse. So I'm going to switch out, I'm going to go into Edith, and I reckon Edith can roar this thing out, it isn't going to give a flying fuck about Lava Blooms, and on the Protect I can Aqua Ring, which is what I do here. So, fuck you, Heatran, I'm going to take advantage of your torment training bollocks, and I'm going to get some uh, HP back, when I need it, of course. So now I'm going to roar him out as he goes for a torment, and in comes Ape. Now, I'm fairly confident Edith can live one, because he, he said, and told me in confidence, that this was a Scarfed Ape. And I figured, it, it's going to be a mix Ape, so I reckon he isn't going to have max attack. And I reckon if he did have max attack, or he was expert about something, it, it easily would have killed. If it was max attack, then goddamn Edith is awesome. So I surf and take him out, and uh, Aqua Ring is going to help me out a little bit, get me a bit back. So I'm uh, around about 100. I'm still in torrent range, though, which is lovely. And then in comes Heatran, and he's going to protect, which is kind of a dumb play, because I'm tormented, so I couldn't go for surf on that turn. And Aqua Ring and Lefty's are going to give me even more HP. So it's like, oh la 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 la, Edith is trolling your face off. And he's going to Lava Bloom. He is going to get the burn, but now he has knocked me back into Torrent Range. I will surf, and I will take out this goddamn fucking Heatran. Yeah. God bless you, Edith. But Edith, Edith can't tank a hit now because of the burn. I mean, uh, he brings the Celebi next. I don't know if I could have taken the Grass Knot. Depends how much special attack investment he had, or whatever. But um, Edith ain't going to take one. And this is really tricky, because I know this new Celebi of his has T-Wave instead of Stealth Rocks. And I really want to go into Dave, because Dave would fuck it stay up. But I don't want it Dave to get T-Waved, and then his unburdened boost is ruined. So I go into Isocrates, who, if he T-Waves me, I U-turn and wreck him. But he's going to sub, and I'm going to go into Connor, because I I need to do something if he's going to, you know, I wanted to see what he's going to do. He's going to grass not me, and it's like, well, oh, I have Andy, but Andy will take years to kill him. Literally years. I'll be there all day. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. Dave, you've got this. Come on, Dave. And I was streaming this, and everyone was behind Dave. Everyone was giving him support. 
and he Teemos me, which was the single biggest, like, misplay in the entire game. Because had he Leech Seed, ah, oh, he would have been so much better off. Because now, he has Grass Knot, Dave resists it, and Dave weighs, like, 30 pounds, so Grass Knot does literally nothing to Dave. And I'm going to set up all over the Celebi space, and it is going to be brilliant. So Dave, Dave ain't playing games, and he's going to switch out and go into his Sizzle. But Dave isn't afraid. Dave has that stab, hidden power, flying. Oh yes, hidden power, flying. So the Charge Beam actually does a hell of a lot to the Sizzle, and he's going to go Pursue. Now, I thought he was banded, but I believe he told me he wasn't. Which was so good, because Dave lives the Pursuit, and gets the, um, I think it's Leechy Berry, I believe? No, it's not Leechy, is it? Well, well, Barry, Pattaya Berry, that's the fucker. And then I plus three Hidden Power flying his face off. Yeah, Dave ain't playing games. He ain't playing games. Now here, again, he makes a very questionable play. He brings back in the Celebi. And he's going to try and, so, you know, get try and get me to get Parahacks by sobbing a lot. Now, after we uh, do this little thing, and Dave, Dave doesn't flinch. He doesn't bat an eye at this stupid Celebi. Because Dave doesn't get parahaxed, and the grass knot doesn't kill him. But after this, he brings in a Gyarados. I'm like, oh my, you could, you would have outsped Dave. You could have killed him. Alright, you would have had to deal with Andy, but all I would have had, actually, uh, I don't know. In the grand scheme of things, I would have brought in gear, and I would have gone for it, even though I had Charge Beam. But Dave, being the trooper he is, takes the grass knot, kills the Celebi, and in comes the Gyarados, and now he is going to waterfall and kill me. But fortunately, very, very, very fortunately indeed, because I was thinking, I'm done. If he DDs once, he outspeeds Ape. Ape has nothing to do to him anyway, and Andy only has Dragon Pulse to hit this thing. But he tells me that he does not have Ice Fang because he is a bulky Gyarados, and he does not have Stone Edge either, so Andy can have a field day here. And also, because he is a bulky gearer, his waterfall, after one DD, is, I believe, a free hit KO. Thank you, Andy, you wreck train. And remember, kids, if there is an annoying, shitty Celebi in your neighborhood, you, ring, you, you pick up that phone and you fucking call Dave. Dave doesn't play games with Celebes. He doesn't play games. Anyway, that is good game, Hanged Glitch. Thank you for the battle. And remember, kids, go Dave. Hope you've enjoyed this battle, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.